Hey, it's Nixie, and I'm here at CES 2012. Really excited. I always say I'm excited. I need a different word than excited. Thrilled? Thrilled. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and I'm here at CES 2012, the last day with John from Ubuntu. We're so tired, our feet hurt, but we're having such fun uh, here. I know, you, can, you can't sit in the chairs? We can, we can sit on the chairs. We've had 5,000 people here already over the last three or four days. We'd like to sit on the chairs for every single one, but we have to get excited when we talk about All Ubuntu. Right, yes. And it's so easy to do. So can we be excited and talk we about can. Ubuntu TV right now? Let's do it now. Right. So this is Ubuntu TV. So uh, this is a showcase here at CES yes. 2012. Uh, we've had lots of people interested in this. This is the first time we've shown this to the world. Ubuntu TV is a TV where you can interact, you can watch your favorite films, but also listen to music, get online, look at your pictures, see what's happening on Facebook, and we're really excited about it. And only some features are available right now. Do you guys have an expected data release or? So in terms of release, a lot of things are going to happen with regards to manufacturers, content providers. So the release date really depends on what the manufacturers want to do. In terms of what's happening uh, globally, in terms of what we're going to do and markets that we're going to go live with, this could really go everywhere. And again, this will be something that the TV manufacturers will look at when they look at their different geos, their different regions. Here we are looking at the different, uh, the main menu for watching TV. If you're in the UK and it's 10 o'clock at night, you can with all the BBC see going what's on. going on, listening to our great accent. You know, I'd love to watch <laughs> off. That's why you're here, John. Exactly. They just got you for the accent. I'm sorry. Thank you. So um, it's quite good. It looks very much like Ubuntu. It's based on Unity. Um, so many people that will be familiar with Ubuntu will know exactly what's going on there. It's pretty and it's functional. Exactly. Um, we like that. Set top box. Like what kind of what kind of hardware do you guys envision putting this in? Televisions or vendors? Have you contacted any yet? So yeah, we're in contact with most of the major vendors. Um, so this could go across most or any smart TV. Let me point something out. On the left-hand side, you can also make this innovative. You can really decorate the TV as much as you like. You can have movies, music, different content providers who want to get on board. That's something that will be had in, in terms of conversations with the TV manufacturers. For us, we're going to make it just work and make it work beautifully. You know what's really hot right now? I'm boiling and my feet are still sore. <laughs> that doesn't count. That bug over there. Wait, can we just get a shot at the bug real quick? That's that, just crazy. That bug is our friend. If anyone back home or watching this can tell us what that bug is, <laughs> we're all is. <laughs> um, yeah, Hello. cloud. Cloud computing, cloud storage, really, really hot. It is. I mean, in all seriousness, it's the future. We're really excited about it. Uh, excuse me. we got to come back here. That, that was wonderful, but we're talking about the cloud now. <laughs> Thank well, you. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do... I'm going to show you Ubuntu One. We actually have on the other side of our booth something else that's been getting a lot of attention. Ubuntu One is your personal cloud. It's available with all versions of Ubuntu. It gives you five gigabytes of storage for free. Now, why don't we have a look at it across the way here? All right. Sounds good. So, talking of clouds and all things Ubuntu, also at the show today and this week we've been showing Ubuntu One. Ubuntu One, many of you will know, five gigs of storage, your own personal cloud, you can sync your bookmarks, your files, your contacts, and we're getting a lot of people interested in this as we are with Internet TV and Ubuntu TV. Okay. Well, so at the we... moment we're using 360 meg, which means people have been playing with this machine over the last week, which makes us really happy. I see video. I don't know what the video has on it, but it's probably not PG. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Ubuntu One we have. Then we're also showing, uh, most of the things we're showing, it's the first time that we're here at CES, as we've probably mentioned already. We've got Ubuntu Core, which is really Ubuntu with its head cut off. It's a Motorola Atrix, which uh, is an Android handset, which then runs through an Ubuntu desktop when you Ooh. dock it into your dock. Great grammar there from me. You dock it into your dock. <laughs> dock the dock so you can dock while you dock. Nice. All right. And then we have Ubuntu at retail. This is something we're also really excited about. Over the last six months, we've got on Ubuntu PCs, hardware with a embedded Ubuntu 
in Brazil, China, um, India, Europe, some parts of North America. Equal opportunity love for it's open great. source. Great, we're loving it. And at the moment, we're in over 2,000 stores working with manufacturers like ASUS, Dell, Lenovo, HP. And um, we think this is the future. We really see a world where people can walk into any store to buy a piece of hardware, and there should be as much Ubuntu as other people, other brands that you may have heard of. We'll so, just have to get them to pronounce it right. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> So it looks like this is Ubuntu's solution to get all of your devices talking at one time. Absolutely. For us, ease of use, getting everything together so uh, an end user can sit down, play games, watch films, go onto their social lives. This is really what we're about and what we'd like to see in the future. And we think we're, we're getting there. So I have to ask the question that everybody's been asking, which is how do you guys think that you can compete with, you have Google TV out there, Boxy, Roku, the list sure. goes on and on. What do you think about that? Honest opinion. So anything that's open source, we're always really happy about. We embrace it. It's our culture. It's what we're about. Um, there are differences between the two products or the three products. Um, what we love about our own product is it's clean, it works out of the box, hopefully people will get it straight away. Um, and some of the product, the, the Google TV products, it's great too. Um, is it going to be completely open source? Google's TV? I don't know. No, your TV. You know the answer to that. Aha! Yes, and that's the difference, folks. Thanks a lot for your time Pleasure. putting up with me on the last day of CES. This is John, this is the Ubuntu booth, and this is us going to have a drink. Bye. Bye. Thank you.